Hello everyone. Welcome to my live stream. It's Friday, so that's uh, Chibi Friday for me, um, where I just work on a chibi caricature drawing. I have been working on this one for many weeks now, mostly during these Friday live streams, and we're now on part seven. It would be cool if I could get everything done that I wanted to today. Um, I just had a few things, which I wrote here in pencil before I scanned it in, um, to do digitally, and then also my usual digital enhancements, like, you know, there's some little smudges here and there, and um, I like to clean that kind of stuff up. I've already done a few things to it. Um, I scan my images in with a relatively low contrast setting, because I found that my scanner will depending on what the image is, what the color information is, it might put too high contrast and then you lose a lot of details because the blacks get really black and it's like, no, what happened to this little thing that was a fine little line and it just totally disappears or whatever. Um, and then, so I just edit it after the fact in Photoshop. So that's something I've done. I also like straightened it out and I cropped it so that the edge of the paper couldn't be seen and just uh, little stuff like that has been done so far. Um, I found a tutorial that I'm going to try for this one, which says fix chin color. Um, I accidentally colored this part of the orca, this darker color, and it needs to be this color. I have found a tutorial on how to change a color to a different color in Photoshop, um, like an existing color as the uh, the examples in the tutorial are photographs. So um, I'm gonna try that out and then I'm just going to try to tackle all these things and my usual cleanup uh, steps. Maybe I can get that done in an hour, especially since I got started exactly on time today. I'm very proud of myself. I was sitting here watching the clock for it to turn from 15.29 to 15.30, and as soon as it hit, boom, hit the start stream button. Mm. Very proud of myself. I'm doing really good this week on obeying my own schedule, which is, uh, it just feels good because I'm getting so much done every day. So, uh, let me pull my monitor toward me. I'll try to. It's like caught on something. There we go. I know you can't see what I'm actually doing here, but I've got the really big walk home tablet that's also a monitor, the Cintiq something. <laughs> and so it's super nice, but it's a big hefty piece of equipment. So it's kind of a, it's a job to, to move it down from monitor to tablet. But there, I think I've got it. Oh, I've got to get up and turn my overhead light off, though, because now it's shining on the screen. Okay. I know, it doesn't make any difference to you guys watching the video. <laughs> but it makes a big difference to me because now it's not uh, reflecting. And Although now it's too dark. Okay, I'm going to get up again. I'm going to turn on this light that's behind my computer. Okay. Yes. It's been so long since I did any digital artwork that I forgot that this is how I have to do it in order to have enough ambient light in the room so that the screen isn't blinding me, but also so that the light itself is not reflecting on the screen and making it hard to see what's on there. Oh, I also wanted to mention that it's pretty exciting. This is Chibi Friday number 42. Ah! I'm a huge fan of the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy series, so 42 is a very important number to me. So, I am very excited that this is... That's another reason why it would be cool if I finished... Uh, this today because it would feel like special to finish a chibi on Chibi Friday 42. Um, okay, so 
let's try this tutorial to start with. Oh, Satoita, hi! I'm waving my hand even though you can't see my hand. <laughs> I'm so used to waving the hand on the camera that I just did it. Oh, yeah! Good point! It's also Friday the 13th. Yes! I noticed that this morning. I was like, yay! The first work Friday for me. Of course, uh, we humans like to dig and find meaning in everything, but I don't know. It feels special to me, Friday the 13th. My first Friday back at work after my holiday vacation. Um, okay, I'm not going to be able to see chat for a second because I'm going to try this tutorial. So I've got to switch tabs on my browser. So, um, although maybe I can, hold on. I think I can do this. Uh, click on Twitch app on my phone. How do I get to... Uh, if I click on that, no, watch, no, how do I see, oh, my channel, haha, <laughs> man, I usually just watch it on my secondary monitor, but then when I need to, yay, okay, let me see, okay, now I can see chat, I just have to look a little bit, yeah, I'm gonna set it, Ugh, it wants to fall down, don't fall down, phone, don't do it, Okay, hopefully that, hopefully it stays up. There, now I can see chat and I can see my tutorial tab and I can see OBS and all the things. Okay, I had to scoot my little thingy. What is this? Like, it's like a document holder that holds it up and I put my phone on there. Okay, so what this is, is it says how to use the Photoshop replace color tool. I'm hoping this will do what I want. It says open the image in Photoshop, check, replicate, no, duplicate the background layer. And yes, I like to do that anyway because just in case for some reason I want the original scan back. Okay, so I've done that. Do, do, do. Turn off the blah, blah, blah. All right, yep. Open the replace color tool dialog box. Okay. Where? Okay, hold on. It's under image, adjustments, replace color. Where is it? Oh, it's right away at the bottom. Okay. I don't know I've done this before. Oh, that's cool. That's cool looking. Okay. Um, select the color you want to replace. In the replace color tool dialog box, use the eyedropper to select the color you want to replace. Oh, okay, I have an idea what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to erase, cause it's gonna replace all of that color. So even the part that I don't want replaced. Um, so I'll have to erase. So yeah, the, making the background copy is a good idea cause I'll erase away the stuff that I don't want to be changed. Okay, so I gotta move this so that I can pick this. Uh, pick what seems like a mid-tone among the range of, of grays here. Um, click on the purest example of the color. Oh, then use the plus eyedropper to add lighter and darker shades. Cool, this tutorial is great. Okay, so here's like the darkest version of this color in this section. And the lightest is maybe, oh, I don't know, maybe right here. Okay, and if you want Photoshop to select only colors around the area you have selected, check the box next to localized color clusters. The fuzziness slider makes a range of colors selected more or less specific. Let's see what that looks like. Hmm. Well, I want to make sure that it actually gets the whole mouth. So actually, I think I'll leave it where it was. And then I'll just erase away the layer where I don't want it to be changing. Um, what else? Fussiness, blah, blah. 
Okay, step five, change the color. Use the hue slider to choose a new color. Based on the results, you may need to adjust your selection to include more hues. Use eyedropper plus tool to win. Okay, I'm not, okay. I don't know if this is gonna, okay. So basically I just have to mess around with this. Okay, okay, okay. And then so lightness, we definitely want to make it, wow, that's too light, that's too much. Hmm. So I need to try to get it similar to the belly color. Oh, here we go. Maybe that was a little too much. Uh, oh. What if I do it all the way over here? It's kind of greeny. Okay. So this is pretty close. Maybe if I up the saturation, I can tell better. Oh, yeah. So that's a little too blue. Let's take it a little more reddish, purpley. Ooh, yeah. So I'm going to end up erasing all of this other stuff that I don't want changed. Now I just gotta get it. So I don't need it quite that saturated. Because actually what I want this to be kind of like this color. Maybe I'll make it even more light. Something like this. I think that's close enough. So I'm going to click OK. Well, that's cool. There's even more. There are even more things you can do to try to fine tune this, but I think that this is good because all I'm gonna do, first I'm just gonna circle this area, the part that I'm actually trying to change, then select the inverse and, um, where's my delete button on? I have a delete button set on here, but I can never remember, so I have to look at my chart that I made. Okay, so we've deleted that now Oh, I even have a deselect button that I set for myself. I set up all this cool stuff for myself and then I forget to actually use it. Okay. So, and I guess um, to give credit where it's due, I'm going to copy and I'm just going to put this in the chat. Put that uh, tutorial in case anybody wants to. Of course, anybody watching the recording later, it doesn't, doesn't help, but hopefully I'll remember and put it in the description. Okay, anyway, now, um, so I'm gonna turn this, oh wait, I can't, okay. Uh, oop. Okay, I'm going to make a new layer and turn off the original one. Then I'm going to make this new layer. Is 50% good? Yes, so that I can then erase the remainder of this color changed area where to where I want it to be. And I will do a little detail work on these really dark lines that are left over because they weren't selected by the color changer, but that'll be next. Let me check whether this is looking good before I continue. Oh yeah, yay, so I just gotta finish doing this. Two hundred percent. I often work in two hundred percent. I just, it's probably the reason why digital actually takes me longer than physical media work, but it's also one of the benefits. You can get like every little thing so precise. I want 
want to remember to do my little trick with a layer effect at the end and make sure that I haven't missed any points as I'm erasing this because sometimes that happens and it's not always a problem but sometimes it is a problem when little tiny pixels that aren't visible are not actually erased. done. Okay, that's probably good enough. So now I'm going to do my little trick, which is to add a temporary layer style um, stroke. Oops, I did the wrong one. That's okay though, because you can just pick it here. Stroke and make it kind of bigger. And then you can, oh wait, let's make the color different though. Wait, I have it on inside. That's not what I want. I want it on outside. It's because I had to reinstall my Photoshop again because it keeps having this problem where it cra after a while it will be fine and then it just starts crashing anytime I want to print. And apparently it's been a problem for years and they're just not going to fix it. So the only solution is to uninstall and reinstall Photoshop including all your preferences. So I get used to things being a certain way and then I have to do that and it's all gone. But anyway, you can see that my trick worked because here are three little clusters of pixels that I missed. And then you can just take the effects and put them in the trash because you don't need them anymore. And now turn this opacity all the way back up. And there, that's pretty good. So I shall now work on, there's all this uh, really dark stuff that was left over. So. I just use the selection tool. No, that's move tool. Again, all my stuff is weird, and so I don't know where all my tools are. Polygon, I don't know. Where's the smart selection tool? Ah, magic wand. That's what I want. Okay, so I want not contiguous because I want it to select every instance of this. Oops, wrong layer. <laughs> History. On this layer, every instance of this really dark. And then what shall I do? I think I shall just use, we'll see what it's like. Oh, maybe I'll just use a brush on it and do like a 50% opacity. There's so many different ways you could do this, so. Oh, Xe, hello! Oh, I did it again, just like with Sato Ita, I waved my hand even though you can't see it. <laughs> now you know that I did that. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, is this the color that I made it? Well, I'm gonna pick this color anyway. Oh, I did. Okay, so. Is that 50%? I'm just gonna try this. Okay, um, oh wait, right, I deselect the button that I forget that I have. Oh, okay, it's working so far. Those really super dark ones are lightened up a bit. <laughs> yeah, I expected to see it too. 
You can see it in your mind then. That's good. I'm doing all right. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank goodness it's Friday. I mean, this week was a great week, but I'm also looking forward to uh, having some free time and like being able to play Animal Crossing for more than an hour because even though it felt indulgent when I made that my goal this year to play Animal Crossing every day so that I could finally get all the seasonal stuff and enjoy all the new things that were introduced to the game. But it was like, oh, that's an, an hour, an hour of not working a day. And so I don't know, it was kind of, felt kind of uh, scary or something. But now that I've had a couple of weeks of it, I'm like, Dang it, an hour is not long enough <laughs> to play Animal Crossing. I need like three hours a day. So I'm looking forward to the weekend when I will have that much time if I choose to spend it like that. Mm, okay, so now I think I would just like to make a little bit more difference in the... Because the way I did the color change thing, now it's just kind of all one flat color. So I'm going to pick this lightest color here and paint it on top. And since this is still a separate layer, oh, especially if I do, 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 use this and choose this, then it should not color it on these little bit of black stuff that's still on the outside of this. <laughs> Satuita says, yep, I could play it all day. Especially Happy Home Designer. Right? It's so fun. It's because they made, they made the game that, that's, wait, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that it was a good idea that they made that game in the first place, the Happy Home Designer, because it was a special, like, separate game. And then it's just like the best that they, oh, I didn't want the color picker. The best that they just added it is just like an add-on to the um, the main New Horizons game. So let's see, brush tool, yes. Mm, come on. What? It's stuck. Why does that happen sometimes? Okay. Sometimes the it doesn't detect the stylus anymore, and I have to move the mouse around, and then it detects the stylus. What the heck? Why? Whew, I gotta take a drink. I got a headache for some reason. I've been doing great all day, but within the last hour or so, a little small headache has been growing. I guess that's another reason to look forward to the weekend. Okay, dry media, hmm, pencil. The brushes aren't quite as good here as they are in the default brushes that come with the program. Just don't compare to Clip Studio Paint. But this is such a small thing, I don't wanna have to open Clip Studio Paint just for that, so. Here's an inking brush, cartoonist brush, wet blender. Real oils. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll just try this. Man, my computer is struggling a little bit. Come on. Inking thick and thin. Let's try this one, see what it's like. I don't want the size bigger. I want it like a marker size, which is pretty big. Oh, it's too much. Let's make this, uh, like, tw there we go. 25 percentish. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, it's still processing too. Or something. No, I... Let's see. Let's try a different brush. Ah, what's going on? No, stop, like, selecting stuff. Oh, I know what happened. Okay, hold on. It's got like, 
It's still detecting my hand when I touch, even though the touch is supposed to be off. That's annoying. Well, I just gotta remember not to touch the screen at the same time. So not ultimate inking. Let's see what wet blender is like, especially if we make it a big brush. Whoa, no. <laughs> oh, I'm not even on the right tool anymore. What the heck? Come on now. Let's do this. Wet blender as a paintbrush. Uh, oh, it just takes it away. No. What in the heck, Photoshop? There are just some aspects where Clip Studio Paint rules compared to... Let's try these real oils. That's still a paintbrush? Okay. <laughs> I'll look over there, it just changes stuff. Ah, no! No. Mm. Hmm. Well, it's taking so long. I might just have to do it in Clip Studio Paint because it keeps pulling pixels that aren't selected. Like, if it's not selected, shouldn't do it. Legacy brushes, though. Maybe there's something good in there. Why are you so slow? Okay, maybe if I use my mouse instead of this, the stylus, it'll be better. Default, basic, later fix. Nope, it's very slow. Dry, faux finish. What's faux finish? Mesh. Plastic wrap. Wow, what weird brushes. Cotton. Oh, I guess it's like to give it a texture. Why is there legacy brushes within legacy brushes? Oh, they're, they are different, though. Okay, that's too many. Come on. Oops. M brushes, natural brushes, round brushes, special effects, square, wet media, round point, thin bristle, round point, low bristle. Hmm. Drippy water. I'm just looking at what these textures seem to be. Watercolor heavy loaded? No, why does it do that? Don't, don't do it. Is it because I'm choosing wet media? I bet it is. Let me go to dry media. But not that one. The old school brushes. Drop shadow, no, dry media. See if there's some sort of... Pastel rough texture, no. Oil pastel, soft pastel large. Dang, it still smudges it though. And I don't need that kind of texture either. Large graphite with heavy flow. Oh. What? How? What? Why is it on the background? Okay, I have clicked this. Photoshop, come on now. I need to make sure I haven't done anything weird. Okay, magic wand is on. Large graphite, heavy flow. No, why? Why does it pull in the dark stuff? Don't want it to do that. Oh, no. Maybe I just got to use a basic. Because they do all have this little, I'm pointing to it with the cursor, this little water drop on it. Maybe that's the reason why it's doing weird stuff that I don't want it to do. Also, it's still detecting my touching. Don't. Okay, now it says touch off for sure. Okay. That's why I don't want my screen to be a touch screen. I just want it to use this uh, stylus because I don't want it to be confused that 
my finger is touching it and then it's like which one is which one do you want no only the stylus how do i get back to just regular old here's general something normal okay let's try that Hard round pressure size, super basic. Yeah, let's try this. That still has this little water drop, why? Oh, because it's on a completely different. Photoshop, why do you do that to me? Why do you make random changes? If I'm selecting it from within the paintbrush option, I want it to stay on the paintbrush option. Yeah, maybe I'll just keep layering. I got this great. I got a great idea. So I'm going to just keep layering, and then hopefully it will be good enough. Oh yeah, I already like that. Okay, that's good. Now let's just get a darker color to be the shadow where the upper lip is hanging over the lower lip. How about this one? Select this one, please. Thank you. And now, just like right, right there. That's good. Now using, hmm, what do I want to use? Maybe this is what I want now. A mixer brush tool. Ooh, not like that though. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. Learning stuff. Wah, no. <laughs> I need one of those texture ones now. Okay, okay, I'm figuring you out, Photoshop. This is how I've always used Photoshop my whole life. Not taking any class or anything. I mean, I took a Photoshop class, but it was not. It was just called digital art, so it was just like, make an art piece with this. So it was just kind of the same thing, like, figure it out on your own and present your art piece, so. I'm always just figuring stuff out. Whoa! This is crazy looking. Whoa! That's not what I want, but that's weird. Hmm. No. Uh, how about this? It's, uh, it's getting there. It's a little too, whoops. Pastel rough. Pencil. Soft oil pastel. Nope. Mm -hmm. Soft pastel large. Whoa. If I make it smaller? Nah. I want texture, but not this much. I enjoy using, this is what uh, Satoita says, I enjoy using the mixer brush on Photoshop. Should have some settings you can adjust. Well, once I find a texture that I feel, maybe this large graphite. Once I find a texture that I like, maybe it'll be... But if you have any recommendations like that you could put in a link or something, I could click. Ooh, what's this wax pencil? Oh, I did not undo what I just did. Oh, it's so tiny. I kind of feel in this one. I just need to... Uh, settings, you said. No, I bet it's up here. Ooh, let's see. Mix. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. How wet is it? Let's put everything about 50% and see what it's like. I've never quite understood what flow is. Again, because it is all self-taught and I look at a tutorial when I have a specific thing I want to do and <laughs> that's it. Hmm. <laughs> doing load flow 
if I make it smaller? Oh yeah, the stuff I just found. At the top, like how wet, how much paint, how much to mix. I usually use the basic brush. Well, I like the idea of this getting a little textures because the there's a little texture on the... What would you call that? The native color that was not changed color? I guess. <laughs> Stop. Stop pulling in the black part of it. I kind of like this. I am happy with this. Now let me go back to the regular paintbrush. And make opacity quite low and choose a... Uh, wait, what am I doing? Choose this light color again. Lightest color again. Come on. Okay. And also choose soft so it's just low opacity ooh I think I might be happy with this It's not quite as textury as the rest, but considering that it was a complete mess up that I'm fixing, I colored it in a totally wrong color. Hey, this is pretty good. I mean, it even has uh, that. So now that I figured out what it was doing with that blending brush, which I've never mixer brush, that's what it's called, which I've never used before. Uh, actually kind of similar to how the marker sort of sometimes brings the ink in or whatever so yay okay so fixed chin color is done in fact I'll actually put a little, little, little line through it on a new layer and let's see hard around pressure size and make it small boom oh wait okay maybe not Oh, the opacity is still low. Boop. Add highlights. That is the next thing. I wonder if I should do them as large as the marker lines that are visible, like, say, right here. I think I will, because otherwise they might look a little out of place. So I'm not trying to make these highlights look like they are marker, but I still want them to feel like they belong on this, on this orca. And actually my brush is already, so let's see, haha, <laughs> cute, I don't know. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, that's better. Wow, first time chat and it is a spam. Let's deal with this. I don't know how to do it. Reply, pin, <laughs> no. How do I do something to get rid of it? Oh, well, I can't get rid of it. Mm. Yeah, account created a few days ago. Mm. Report. Spam. Next. Spam. Next. Tell us more. Oh, I just want to report a spam. What? Okay. Let's see. This is what's oh, typing in Japanese. I got the Windows uh, Windows on screen keyboard came up. <laughs> I wanted it to come up on my tablet screen. 
This is spam. There, submit report. Also block. <laughs> okay. Back to what I was doing. One day I might be more, uh, have enough people that somebody could be my spam moderator, but it is nice not having to deal with spam. This is what, like, my second spam message ever. <laughs> okay, back to what Satsuita was saying. I'll alternate between the two brushes and start new layers to simulate painting on a dry canvas versus wet canvas. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that makes sense for doing more like oily style, oil or acrylic even style paintings in a digital, in a digital program. Oh shoot, I just realized that I did the highlights on here and it's the same as this. Well, whatever, that's okay. So I'm going to rename this if the keyboard would come up. Okay. This was the keyboard that came up, but it was on my uh, secondary monitor off to my uh, well, like my right. That's what I was talking about earlier when I was trying to report the spam. Okay, we'll call this highlights. Um, check marks. I'll put checklist. Hopefully I'll remember what I meant by that. Highlights and checklist, because that line that's covering up the things I already did is on the same layer. Okay, so I've got a couple highlights on the head. I think that's nice. I don't want to do too much. In fact, I might keep it um, to these things that are closest to the viewer, so also this fin. Mm, really close, but ah, that's better. Yeah. No, I'll just put it on that one side. So right there and there, there. <sighs> Should put it on the hat. I'm thinking it's like a felt kind of material or something like that, so I don't think it'll be very reflective, but maybe the ribbon. Oops, I'm used to Clip Studio Paint where you. It's hard to switch between these two programs sometimes. If you right click on. No, why are you doing this? Don't be crazy. If you right click on a color in Clip Studio Paint, it selects a color. You right click in Photoshop and you're using the brush tool, it opens the brush options. And it's hard to remember that they're different sometimes. Yeah, maybe I'll make it really shiny, actually. Because if it's like a. What is the word? Like silky, like a silky ribbon or something. That's pretty good, but my lines felt a little. There, I like that. Oh, and the sunglasses. They definitely gotta have some sort of shininess to them. In fact, first I will put some harder lines. Like here, here. Oh yeah, looking good. And then on the lenses, so I'm gonna make a different layer so that I can do some erasing as well. All I'm gonna do is make it a soft round brush and make it really huge. No, even huger, like gigantic. Yeah, something like that. And then I go uh, to the eraser. Hard eraser, make it gigantic as well and erase away so now I'm gonna have to zoom in 
and make it smaller. And it has that sort of soft reflection that eyeglass lenses tend to have. But I will do a little bit, erase a little bit on the inside to show like the frames are casting a little shadow too. That's good. Let's name this before I forget what it is. Glasses. Uh, I guess I'll just call it highlight. High kite. High light. Enter. Oh, hello again. Oh, my connection is wacky today. Well, I hope that it hangs in there. Are you having uh, issues with other stuff? Like, has it just been bothering you all day? I hate it when that happens. It happens to me sometimes. Luckily, not that often. But it'll be like, why? Why is this happening? I just want to do X thing or whatever. <laughs> and it's like, no, it's not letting me. Well, how did I get a little pink in here? Ah, I accidentally put some here. Let's erase this. Okay. Background copy. I gotta name this too. Fixed chin. That is perhaps a pair of words I never thought I'd say together. Fixed chin. I think that's good. So I don't want to go crazy with the highlights. Um, the muffler, the scarf, I I am imagining it. So even though it's the same color as the silky band on the hat, I'm not imagining it as a silky texture for the scarf. I'm imagining it a soft fluffy texture so it won't really have too much highlights. Especially since this is also meant to be underwater. So there's not that much. I mean, there is light coming in, but not that much light. So let me zoom it out really tiny. I guess the only thing is maybe the nose would be a bit different. It looks all right when it's zoomed in, but it's seems odd when I make it small. So maybe I need like a... Okay. Oh, oops, I did it again. I'm trying to copy the color, but... Okay. Hard rune. Are you gonna make a... Oh, I'm on eraser still. That's fine. <laughs> Whoopsie! Okay. Hard round pressure size and not gigantic anymore. Maybe I need a highlight like that or something. Maybe like this? Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna... Oh, thank you, Exy! It's looking great! Yay! I feel like I'm getting close. Getting close to done with this. Okay. Um, okay, I gotta lift. <sighs> tablet up so that I can reach my keyboard. I'm not going to do that screen keyboard on my secondary monitor again. Um, Orca. just want to see what the highlight looks like on their uh, little nosy there. Ah, I see there's not even much. Okay. Especially underwater, it's not really... Oh, only 10 minutes to go! 
I wish it wouldn't show me, I'm on Google image search, and I wish it wouldn't show me all these sad articles about beached orcas. I just want to see their cute faces. Okay, let's see. There's no... Yeah, underwater, there's not really much highlight at all. Oh, here's a good one, though. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, I think doing it across instead of up and down is the right way to go. <laughs> Stop Tweezer says the digital chin fix worked well. Thank you. I'm so glad that it did. I knew that it would be possible, but I was like, I don't know. It's like being aware that it's possible is not quite the same as actually making it happen. Oh, come on. Where's my, where's my cursor? There we go. So maybe if I just do like something like that oh oh so close or maybe if i do it over here oh no 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 maybe it just needs to be smaller it's just conflicting so maybe i will erase this because it's conflicting with this reflection here it's looking kind of confused i do like this better I keep looking over here at this small image in the corner, and that's helping me figure out what I want to do. Yeah, I don't want it to go that far. Just a little, a little boop. That might be good. And now, I will just do small, oh, let's make this smaller. Something like this size? Yes, that's what I had before. Maybe something just on the corner there would be better. Yeah. And then there's not a highlight and then a highlight. To me, it was looking confusing. In fact, I'm going to shorten this one up as well. Actually... So I'm looking at it right here in this small preview image. I call it the navigator. I never think of this as a navigator. I don't know what I think of it as, but it's the small version of what I'm working on. I am going to lock these pixels and just make this. I like the placement. In fact, let me go back. I am going to no, actually, I like it smaller. Okay, I like it smaller. Lock the pixels and just get a slightly darker color. Because it's kind of standing out too much. Okay, that's too dark. Let's make it a little lighter than that. I want there to be a highlight here, but it doesn't need to be the star of the show, basically. Ah, oh, that's much better. Okay. Then I can unlock the pixels. Don't need that locked anymore. Alright, so I am going to mark this as done. Add highlights. So ocean color overlay is the last thing, but actually what I want to do is clean up the image. So that'll be on this layer. And I guess it'll also be useful. Although then I won't see ocean color overlay. Well, I will make a layer for it and that will remind me. Okay. I'm very forgetful and I don't think it's because my memory is bad. I think it's because I have so much going on all the time in my mind that I can't hold on to a thought without a reminder later. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, 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 it's in Nihongo, so, ocean, I mean, I guess I could have typed it in Japanese, but, uh, ocean color overlay, 
And I like to use overlays in almost everything where I put any digital work that's not just cleanup work. I love putting an overlay. It just marries everything together so nicely. Um, okay, so now that's there and hopefully I won't forget it because what I want to do now is crop it. So I didn't want all this white around the outside, ultimately. That was just there so that I had room to to test colors or whatever it was. And I wonder if I should crop it this tight, or maybe it'll still leave a little bit, I think. Or, I don't know, I kind of like it. I kind of like it like this, cropped pretty tight. I'm looking at these crosshairs. It still might be a little too. Maybe if I make it. Ah, uh, but it is. It's a little tight, so I'll leave some white because it makes the orca seem like it's trapped. I don't want it to be trapped. I just want it to be featured. So I'm sort of eyeballing the distance between here and here, and here and here, and here and here. And then over here is a little bit different, but it's mostly this distance. I'm trying to make them somewhat similar. To me, that feels... Maybe make this one a little higher. Tighten that one on the back. Because even though this space is now smaller than, say, this space, but the space between the orca itself and the edge of the image is way bigger than any other point, so. I think I'll just even. Okay, maybe not that much. A little bit. It's so hard. It's so hard to tell because there's no right answer. <laughs> Yeah, I want to have, uh, maybe if I close this up a little bit. Okay. Mm, check. All right. That's good. That's good enough. And it should, in the Photoshop file, still have the data for the image behind the crop. So it's not like I'm lo losing anything. It's just what do I want to be visible in the final image? Okay, cleanup time. So first we've got this really white paper. So that's super easy. I'm just going to use white and a paintbrush. Um, yeah, I'll use the round brush and just Let's make it a little smaller though. And hand paint over some of these extraneous marks. I'm not sure what the right word is. Blemishes came to mind, but that's not quite the right word. It's not that they're blemishes, it's just that I'm deciding to. I'm deciding what stays and what goes. It's an artistic decision, not a, a judgment decision. Or it is a judgment. I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to be negative about it. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, some of this area is not quite... Okay, so I cannot use just white because some of it is not as white as the other areas. So change of tactics there is if i can find it not history there's a sweet not this one ah i think this is it the spot healing brush tool is awesome so it's super smart you paint over what you want to eliminate and it uses the nearby in visual information and 
just fills it in so that you'll still have like the same color without having to continually pick a color and then you can do stuff like this cleanup work without it was back in the days of Photoshop 7 when I first started using Photoshop that's what I would have to do is I'd have to keep choosing a color over and over or sometimes I would use the the uh, clone stamp but that wasn't 100% foolproof oh yeah that's a good word Satuita says you're being objective Yes. Yes. That's a good word. That's what I was trying to think of. Something like that. I don't even like to use it uh, inside too, not just the outside. So like here's this like black streak here in the middle. That's a little bit too much. I don't mind it right here. Add some interesting texture, but it's just right in the middle. It's more of a distraction than an addition to the the overall texture of the image. Because sometimes things are there because that's just the interaction of the media that you choose, but other times they're there because your hand slipped or it like flicked ink and you did not mean to flick ink and um, or it's just like some dust was on the screen when you scanned your image in or something like that so <laughs> did you burn your tongue so this is why when I make oatmeal in microwave, it's hot forever. <laughs> yeah, I burn my tongue all the time. I'm like, oh, it'll be cool enough. Blah. And then I burn my tongue again. No, I just wanted to eat this thing or drink this. It's usually tea. I'm like, ah, oh, the cup feels cool enough now. And then I take a sip and I'm like, oh, oh, oh it's not cool enough. That's one thing I like about winter though. It gets cool. It's so cold that stuff like that gets cool fast for me. Ah, oh, that's what you should do. Put your oatmeal outside. <laughs> Hopefully no squirrels or anything will eat it. And then it should be cool really quick. Get these little splotches. Even though sometimes Photoshop frustrates the heck out of me, other times I'm like, oh, thank you Photoshop for making my life so easy. <laughs> Just depends on what exactly tool I'm trying to use, I guess. Or what I'm trying to do. I don't know if printing is a tool, but that's my biggest frustration is that the there's something wrong with the way it interacts with my printers and no other program will have a problem like I'll um, try to print from something else and it's perfectly fine it's just Photoshop is the one with having an issue okay I'm gonna this little weird spot right there on there other layer okay I got that too I think that it's nice and nice and cleaned up. I think I'm pretty oh here's a little there's a little too much of this. This like dark gray stuff. Maybe we could clean a little bit of these ink lines that got smudged by the marker. Doesn't have to be too much, because that's one of the things that makes traditional media so fun, but... Uh, and then that's also what makes digital media so fun, because you can do so much... So much cool stuff that you can't do with physical media, and then you put them together and it's the ultimate visual arts experience. <laughs> Wait, here's another little... 
Another little, little smudge line. Yeah, okay. I think I am happy with my cleanup job. So now, now what? So, oh, the ocean color overlay. So I will put, I don't need the touch tablet screen for this at all. I just need my mouse. So I'll just put my screen back up. I wonder if the quality of the sound changes at all because my voice is no longer bouncing right off of the screen because it's not right in my face anymore. Um, okay, first, okay, I know what I need to do. I was confused for a second about what I was doing. I do want gradient. I want to, wait, how do I, oh, here's the color. Satuita, I don't notice the difference. Okay, it makes sense because the mic is not being obscured by the monitor or anything, but. Uh, let's see. You never know what happens. Like, it's so sometimes surprising. Like when you've told me in the past, like, the sound's not working or the sound is weird or whatever, like, I can't tell. Oh, it's so long as my own voice in my own head is all I hear. Okay, so I'm going to choose the lightest color, blue, for the top of my gradient, and then for the bottom of my gradient. Oh, how about this? Actually, I'm gonna add a stop for each of these colors that I have so that the gradient itself is coming from the marker work that I already did. So I think I used four colors. not feeling 100%. No, yeah, because here's this one. And then here is this one. Oh, yeah, looks nice. Although, why is this one so light? I want this like green. Well, maybe I'll pick. Oops. It's too light. I'll pick one part where it's overlapping. There. Maybe I'll do the same thing with this one to pick a part where it's overlapping. Oh, that's actually brighter. Hmm. This? How's that? Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Now, I was imagining the light coming mostly from the top down, but maybe a little bit angled because it's coming in from the ocean, from the top of the ocean. Ooh, so something like that. Wow, that looks like it's meant to be an ocean picture. Oh, you heard my computer fan? <laughs> Ooh, sometimes it goes crazy. I'm like, what's happening? I'm not doing anything that different. Maybe it builds up as I'm working and it's like it finally is finally get that's probably what's happening it finally gets hot enough that it needs okay so uh, let's start with a 10% opacity and what I usually put it on is the overlay setting but let's see I kind of want it I have an idea. I'm gonna try something. Oh, I've been streaming for way too long though. <laughs> I'm having so much fun doing this. I didn't didn't realize how long it's been. But I wanna try something. So if I put this on what is it? Screen? No, multiply? Oh, but this needs to be, if I put this at 100%, oh, this is the kind of thing I was thinking, maybe it's a little too much, but built up heat. It's probably just like a car engine pan. Yeah. It's not that warm down here. Although now that I put my hand on my computer, it actually is warm to the touch. So I put it on the tower. 
kind of want something like this where it's behind it as well. So that it feels like it's in water. Random, but the only tea I can't leave in the bag is green tea. It gets so bitter. Yeah, sometimes with green tea, I just do it for like one minute and take it right out because it, it gets bitter fast. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that it's... Uh, Working. I mean, I'm not sure. This might be a little too much. Forty-two percent. Still might be a bit much. Hmm. I think it is on top of all the layers, make them seem in the water. Well, I've got one on top and on bottom. But maybe I don't even need the one on the bottom at all. I'll get rid of that one and see. take the multiply off put that back to normal but there's also so let me just I'm just gonna try this have it on 50 and see what all the different I usually end up liking overlay the best but I usually scroll through these anyways there's multiply again oh color burn is nice I guess what I would like is if the white wasn't all white, but I think I'm... This one's kind of nice, too. Darker color. No, definitely not. Definitely not these lighter ones. There's overlay again. Hard light. Wow. Vivid light. Intense. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Oh, I'm actually thinking... Huh. Hue is interesting. Um... Saturation color... I think actually, even more than overlay, I liked a couple of these. So either color burn, which is kind of dark, but I can reduce the opacity. But linear burn is cool because, yeah, I think I like this linear burn better. Because when I'm looking at areas like this part on the orca's cheek or down here, and stuff is just getting too lost. And then color burn is not getting everything yeah, I like this linear burn. Okay, so now let's work with the opacity. Because I don't want to, especially after I did so much work to match the color of the chin to the body and stuff, I don't want to completely obliterate it with this overlay, but I just want to help make it seem like it's an underwater. Even if... It doesn't even need to be that someone looks at it and says, this orca is underwater, but just a, just a hint, a suggestion. I think I like this. I think I like this. Let me make it tiny. Yes. Okay. Now, I'm just thinking, is there anything else? Because this is going to be my next Patreon reward. So if I'm done right now, then I am ready to print. So I just want to make sure that I have not forgotten anything. Hmm... Can erase some of it to bring out details. Was there somewhere in particular that looks like it's losing too much? This is kind of cool. Live critique session. 
on Twitch. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with this though. This level of opacity for the layer. Because it's even tinting the white, which was something I wanted to do with this, with the overlay. And since it's a gradient, the white stays whiter up here, but gets darker down here, which is what I wanted. The only thing I guess I could try, 20% opacity. I'm not sure if it'll make a difference. Um, pattern overlay. Not leaves, though. <laughs> oh, Satoiza says, I think it's actually fine without erasing all. <laughs> Good. Because I'd be super happy if this, if this can be. I mean, this is water from above, but it might still, oh, that's a pool. It might still be able to give a little watery texture. Because it's about suggesting an idea, not about how literally, well, literally the water would not be like this or something. I'm not worried about that, but I think this opacity is too high, though. I don't know. I don't think it's making enough of a difference without being too... Yeah, it's not doing what I want, which is make it look like water. It looks more like marble. But it's cool to try it because you wouldn't know otherwise. You gotta try it and see. Oh, I like the texture bringing it all together. Maybe I'll do a different texture if the uh, texture bringing it together was um, working. Maybe it just maybe I can just do a something else. It doesn't have to literally be water. It can be something else. What have we got? Ooh, swirl patterns might be cool. This one's actually blue. I've also got the gray version. But a texture would also be nice because the chin was that um, digital fix, so. Oh. This is actually like swirly. I don't know what this was. It's a scrapbooking paper that I scanned, but. Oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. Linear dodge. Maybe it needs to be smaller. Oh, but then the line at the edge is showing. Hmm. I'm in ad jail, but am I too late? What? You're still getting ads? I didn't turn ads on. That sucks. If you guys are still getting ads when you first join, then I'll turn them on because if you're going to miss it anyway, then I may as well earn a little income from it and not only Twitch getting the income. <laughs> Satsuja, I'm only seeing it on a tiny screen. Anything that looks like the background. Oh, probably. Probably in my animal patterns. Let's see. This is cool. We're working on this together. <laughs> I got an ad when I loaded in. Well, I am going to look into that then. Because if it's going to happen to you guys, I thought that I was, like, preventing you guys from getting ads by not turning them on. If you're going to get ads anyway. So what if I change this to be, like, a lot bigger? Turn the opacity down for sure. 
Huh, I wonder if this is too much or if this is a cool way to... Because the background was meant to be like a oceany, the way the water in the ocean makes all these different shapes. So having those shapes on top of the orca as well could help give the feeling that it is actually in that water. Maybe if they're a bit bigger. I don't like this, actually. I don't know if it needs to be linear dodge. Oh yeah, that was a bit hard. Normal seems good. Let's resolve. Let's lighten. Huh, that adds it to the rest. Exclusion. Whoa, that's a cool effect. I don't think that's what I want, but that's kind of cool how it's bringing out these teals and greens in the dark part of the orca. I don't know, maybe I do want that actually if I turn it down a bit. So it makes it more colorful and interesting. Especially once it's printed, it'll be a lot smaller than this. So that might actually be pretty cool. Sarah, I realize I didn't properly greet you. So hello, Sarah! <laughs> I was so taken aback by you saying that you had to watch an ad. I was like, what? No! How are you? It's so good to see you in the chat. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Of course, we have our letters going. Or Hopefully you got my letter. Um, I finally finished it after like two months and finally sent it like last week. So hopefully it has arrived. I can't decide with this divide one. And it's not really showing up. Let's see. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know about the divide one. Oh, luminosity is interesting. Hmm. Ah, no worries. I know you love me. <laughs> yep. Can't join Wednesday because I'm working. And Fridays, I just have to be paying attention. Ah, gotcha. Just so you know, I started uh, doing Mondays, too. I'm doing the Inktober 52, which is a weekly ink prompt. So I don't know what your Monday schedule is like, but it'd be, be cool if I could see you then, too. <laughs> No pressure, though. If you want your Mondays to yourself, I'm not going to take them away or anything. Just, uh, I like seeing you, so. Monday and Wednesday, both my closing shifts. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Maybe just leave it on screen. I don't want it to be too strong. I don't want it to take away. Maybe like that. And also... Make it a little bit bigger. Okay. I've been streaming for a half hour longer than I meant to just because it's so fun doing these little final things. But I think I'm done. Hooray! I'm done with this. I can make it into Patreon rewards and print it. And it's going to be my first one where I have... Um, I'm going to start printing them myself instead of ordering them because it's way too expensive to order them and you have to order way more than you need. So it's more expensive and you have to order more than you need. So, Oh, you're doing a reading. For heck's sakes, I just got five of pentacles. Now i got to figure out why... I don't know the cards that well, so I don't... I always just use the guidebook. I've never, like, memorized what they mean or anything. Just like, ah, get my little guidebook out. What does it say? Ah, okay. 
So what is five of pentacles that makes you wonder why? Oh, it's usually in regards to financial loss. I just know pentacles dreams with, or maybe you mean deals with, yes, you do mean deals <laughs> with material things. Interesting. This deck, so for anybody watching the recorder, recording later, this is Sarah and Satsuita are talking to this deck. Is, three keywords are illness, hardship, loss. So I'm like, fudge. Well, it wasn't it wasn't uh, inverted, was it? If it was inverted, then it's the opposite, and you could be happy. But it could also just be a warning. It doesn't mean that it's going to happen. It could mean like, so illness. It might be suggesting to uh, take extra care with your health. I mean, it makes sense this time of year. This is uh. In the winter, everybody's all huddled up indoors, and so it's much easier to spread respiratory illnesses and such. Oh, I better save this. I have not saved once <laughs> during the whole stream, and I did so much stuff to it. Uh, okay, well, I am going to call it a day. Call it a week, my first week. Thank you, everybody who joined me, Exi and Satoita and Sarah. Make my first week back to streaming in 2023 like the best ever. Um, and so I'll be back next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, this new schedule is working good. I mean, it's just the addition of a day. But, um, yeah, I'm really pleased. I'm looking forward to 2023 live streaming with all you guys. Um, but I'll let you go now, and I'm gonna go play Animal Crossing. Hooray! And then it's movie night. So, that's it for now. Thank you for watching.